Welcome to Pramavera Physics Tutorials. Today we will learn about scheduling options and schedule log. Now for those who are already aware of Pramavera know that Pramavera has two scheduling options that is progress override and retain logic. Another topic we are going to learn is schedule log and how to use it. Now before moving on to our topic first we need to learn about an out of sequence activity. Now what is an out of sequence activity? An auto sequence activity occurs when an activity starts or completes well before its predecessor is in progress or is completed. Now I have made a sample project which we are going to use for this video. Now let's just add some activities over here. Let's name them A to E and E. Now if you see over here we have activities but we cannot see the relationships. Now let's select from top to bottom link activities. Now let's schedule it. Okay. Now let's give the activity some durations. And today's. Okay, now let's just schedule it. Now let's add a baseline to the project go to project go to maintain baseline save the current copy of the project as baseline okay now go to project assign baseline assign as primary baseline okay now we cannot see the baseline over here let's go to our charts let's click on primary baseline now we can see our baseline over here okay now now say for example that our activity A starts and that it has three days remaining duration and activity B is already started and it is also completed but it got over before the planned duration that is it got completed before A now if you go to schedule and go to options and change to progress override now let's schedule it I'm gonna change the date first the 30th September data date is on 30th September now if we see closely over here, we can see that activity A is in progress, activity B is completed and activity C is now riding on the data date. Start of activity C was 4th October is now 30th September. This is because in progress override, Pramavera will forget the predecessor activity relationship uh, that an activity has if the predecessor activity is completed. Now the project which was supposed to get over on 14th October is now getting over on 9th October which is positive but uh, it is more optimistic it does not seem to be realistic. Now if we go to schedule go to options return logic and schedule it we can see that now as per our original link now the project gains over on 12th October but if you see activity C now starts on 3rd October instead of 30th October now why is that that is because in reading logic now we have B is completed but activity A is still in progress now activity ends on 2nd October and activity A to B is finished to start that is why activity A to C will drive finish to start relationship that is why it is starting on 3rd October now see for example activity B was supposed to be finish to finish with 3 days now if we schedule it if you can see that activity C starts on 7th October so 
the relationship not only works in um, finish to start but also works in the finish to finish but you see three days after 2nd October is 6th, 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th and 6th it should start but it starts on 7th October now if you go to the calendar now let's uh, see uh, Friday is weekend 6th is holiday over here it is a weekend over here that is why the activity now starting on the 7th now say activity C was now also in progress and it has two days remaining duration and if I schedule it again we can see that activity C is broken over here like the start and finish is like different path now if we change the relationship from finish start zero which was original link and schedule it again we can see that activity C starts exactly after activity A is completed how are we to say that which activity or how many activity are out of schedule or say out of sequence uh, if you go to schedule we can see we have a tick over here say log to file let's keep this tick and schedule it scheduling options so we'll go and view log now you can see that this gives a lot of information like method of scheduling option chosen um, things like number of activities activities which is started which in progress or completed and other things like activity which have predecessor or without successor right over here we have our out of sequence activities now we can see that activity b is out of sequence and we also see that the count the number of activity that are out of sequence now from this we can see that or know that b is out of sequence now how we can we solve the problem say we have two activities block work and say plaster now say we give us like 15 days duration and this we give like 10 days duration and if you link them and say that activity block work has already started and it has 10 days remaining duration and if I schedule it you can see that driving to far from activity block work this can be solved by changing the activity links like instead of finish start we can give finish to finish link or another thing we can do is that we can break down activity into multiple activities like see block work layout block work block work construction and instead of just plaster we can use that plaster preparation and plaster works now let's link these activities link activity and now just give them some lag now let's give all of them a lag of two days and now let's just um, give them some duration okay now now let's say that block work layout is already started and instead of waiting for block work layout to complete we can say that block work construction has already started and in progress and say we have two days remaining duration for block work layout and say we have 10 days remaining duration for block work construction 
Now, if we schedule this, you can see that that activity go as per the sequence, and activity gets over on 21st October. And if I schedule it again on, say, progress override, so you see that the end duration remains the same. Now, to understand the main difference between progress override and written logic. Um, Primavera ignores the relationship between activities in progress override while in written logic Primavera will respect the network logic. Um, in progress override activities might never show up on critical path since the predecessor relationship are ignored uh, while in written logic it will create a worst case scenario completion date giving an early warning signs to expedite the delayed work and progress override could give or misleading message that project is getting over ahead of schedule since the delayed predecessor activity might never show up on critical path while in written logic auto sequence activity give a much drastic report that the project is way behind the baseline schedule. Now what does it mean when we say Pramavera ignores the relationship of predecessor activity showing more optimistic project end date. Now, if we look at these set of activities over here, they have total float different for each activity. Now, if you go to scheduling options, check progress override and schedule it. This is the result that we have. Um, block work layout has seven days of total float while the rest of the activity has one day of total float. Now if we go to scheduling options to retain logic and schedule it, we have totally different result. Now the whole network activity has one day of total float. That is because Primavera now calculates the project end dates based on the predecessor activity which is still in progress and not completed hence maintaining the project logic if we go to scheduling options and come back to progress override um, and let's say that blockhawk layout has two days of remaining duration instead of three days and blockwork has 11 days instead of 10 days and if we schedule on progress override we can see that block work layout has six days of total float while the remaining has zero total float that means that activity block work layout which is still remaining is not showing on critical path now if we change scheduling options to retain logic and schedule it now we can see that all network is now with zero total float that is because it is now calculating the longest path based on the predecessor activity which is still incomplete and why does auto sequence activity occurs it might be due to unavailability of detail level of scope that is describing a one scope of work under one activity name with one uh, rough estimated active duration and other reason is that a contractor is always trying to achieve maximum progress during the project duration so he might try to attack all the work fronts available to him uh, for steady progress and this might create an uh, out of sequence activity within the project. Thank you for watching. Until next time.